one fret slide up listen. <laughs> Hey folks, Blues Boy Jag here with yet another John Lee Hooker style slide guitar lesson, three string tuned to open G. This is by request. I appreciate all the suggestions and requests for songs and riffs and licks and so forth. I got a bunch of people talking about John Lee Hooker and they're talking about the muting of the three string cigar box guitar with a slide on your finger. A lot of people don't understand or don't know that you can actually mute all the strings with your slide on your finger. So, first of all, I need to tell you how I'm tuned, which is open G. That's an A string tuned down to a G, and a D string to normal to D. third string from a regular six string guitar open G tuning so I've got my slide on my third finger and the reason I use my slide on my third finger is so I can fret with my first and second fingers and I've got my thumb and my first finger going down here thumb goes down first finger goes up up close let's take a look at the right hand muting with my left hand and strumming with my right. So up strum is a quick flick of the index finger and then your thumb does the downstroke. I'm also anchoring most of the time with my pinky. Sometimes I'm not, depends on the song and the riff and so forth. Sometimes I might do a pretty heavy boogie like this. Just using that first finger, a little bit of my thumb on the strum. Right now, I'm just pretending like I have a pick between my thumb and first finger, but I really don't. And I'm muting with this hand. So let's get the engine going. What's the engine, you say? Well, the engine is strumming, and then we're going to manipulate these fingers and get into the riff and the actual guts of this lesson. So let's get the boogie going. So we turn on the engine, which is your right hand. So for now, all I want you to do is down, up, down, up. I'm not fretting any strings, not using the slide at all with my left hand. Just a simple down, up, down, up. Pretend like there's a, a, a pick in between your fingers. If you want to use your fingers, that's how I do it. It's an invisible pick. Probably because I've been playing guitar for so long with a pick. That's how I started playing slide with these fingers. First finger and the thumb. It's just an up with the first finger and a down with the first finger on the nail. I also use my thumb on the down. So if I want it to be bright, I use my nail. I'm actually using the first finger nail on the downstroke. Sometimes I'll use the first finger up and the first finger down with the nail. Sometimes I pretend like there's a pick in my hand like I was showing you a minute ago. And when I strum down, I'm using the nail of my first finger and I'm pretending like there's a pick. That gives me more volume. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's go down here to the third fret. I'm doing a pull.
pull off and I'm doing an up strum and the very next down strum I do a pull off with the fretting hand. Also choking, and I'll get up real close here. I'm not using my thumb at all. It's sort of anchoring to my neck so I can hold on to my guitar neck and keep everything steady. So I'm gonna get up real close here. Starting with the up strum. And I'm pulling off the second string, third fret, with my first finger. So the very first strum is just the open G chord. And I come down and I do a pull off with that second string, first finger. If you want to choke, I'm choking with the fretting hand. So if you see my fingers bouncing around, that means I'm muting. That's a very common John Lee Hooker style. boogie which is a shuffle boogie so I'm barring on the fifth fret this will bring us up to the C chord now this is a little tricky at first I'm using the slide on my third finger but I'm not actually using the slide it's kind of just there so for now I'm not using the slide on the strings I'm just using my pinky down here a lot of people have been asking me about this lately. How do I do that shuffle with my pinky without the slide banging up against the fretboard and the strings? Well, practice. <laughs> no, seriously, practice. It takes a lot of pressure with your pinky, but it also takes a lot of middle finger going up and your first finger pressing down. So here it is up close. What I'm doing here is pressing down the pinky and the first finger, and then to kill it, I'm just lifting up off the, off the uh, fretboard, but not off the string. Different angle. It is tricky at first because the extra weight of that slide sometimes will make your fingers slam against the string when you don't want to do that. So this is a typical blues shuffle here. I'm going to take my slide off for a second so you can see. First finger, fifth fret, and then two frets up on that second string. My pinky is toggling. Notice my third finger. It moves with my pinky. There is no way for me not to do that. That's how I was born. Did. Born. So you see that third finger emulating what exactly the same shape and bend and everything as the pinky. I have no control over that. Maybe if I spent about a year and a half, I could probably change that. But I don't care. That's how I started playing. I didn't know any different. It's not wrong. So all this stuff here is simply muting. I'm lifting my first finger off the fretboard, but keeping it on the strings. And then I'm muting with the other ones. So that's what it looks like without a slide. And here's what it looks like with a slide. Takes a lot of pressure with your pinky because I'm pulling off with the pinky. And I'm barring with the first finger and I'm not using the slide at all. So the idea is we're going to not use the slide for a while and then we are going to use the slide for a while. So you don't have to take your slide off to do the fancy stuff. So I'm not using the slide on the strings at all. The slide is not touching the strings. Maybe just a tiny bit here and there, but you can't really hear it. 
So I'm borrowing on the fifth fret, starting with the up strum. Right now, I'm going to be concentrating on that second string, pulling off with the pinky. It's hard to do because you don't want your slide slamming against your neck or your other strings. So you kind of have to do that flip off with your second finger there and your third finger, I guess. Now we go back to the open G chord. This is much easier because I'm not barring. Again, not using the slide at all, just my first finger and my pinky. And of course, I can do pull offs if I want. pick at all. I'm pretending like I have a pick. And I'm just doing this on the up. And I'm using my first finger nail on the down. Especially if you want it to be brighter. So if I use my fingers and don't use my fingernails, this is what it sounds like. Mainly using my thumb. And my first finger on the up using the skin. No nail. first finger nail to bring out the brightness of it. So, real slow. So you hear that snap, the nice bright tone? That's my fingernail, and I'm doing this. How about the second string, Jag? Sure. That's the second string. I'm going to keep my slide on. I'm going to use my pinky on that second string. So I'm going to go back and forth. This is one of my favorite licks, by the way. Third string open. Pressing down on the third string. I'm sorry, the third fret on the second and first. So the only one is open is G, the low G. And I'm barring across the third fret, for example, on this one, on the first and second strings. It's a really cool chord in the open G tuning. Funky. Pretty much all those choked notes, I'm using my finger to fret. You can use your slide, it is a little bit difficult to choke, and it's hard to do just one string. So I'm going to do three strings. Now I'm going to go backwards from three to five. Very common boogie. Fingers. First finger. Second finger, two frets up. Now here's a slide. So I'm using my first and second fingers with my slide to keep it from getting all grindy. If you like the grindy sound, that's cool too. But for now, I don't want that. Sliding all over the place. So I'm doing a choke with the chord, doing an up strum with my first finger, and I'm choking with the slide. I'm not fretting at all with my fingers, I'm only fretting with the slide. And I'm doing an up strum so I can choke it. All I'm doing is choking with these two fingers. Also choke with the with the uh, slide. So I'm only.
only pressing the strings down with the slide. Well, not really pressing down, only touching the strings with the slide. And I'm using my thumb behind the neck, which is super important. Sorry I haven't mentioned that before. That helps your stability, and it keeps your hand from zipping all up and down the fretboard and your slide from zipping way too high. So if I do this, my thumb behind so how about slow Jay? well that's not that slow is it I showed you this on a whole bunch of different lessons up. Notice my thumb is hanging over the edge there and I'm killing that third string sometimes and sometimes I'm not. Now there's a weird note, Jag. That's not in the key of G at all. First finger right there. That's actually an A note. It's a full step above the key, Jag. That's kind of weird. So... Notice how I went. So I jumped from one, two, which is an A note, and I went over to the second string, third fret. Well, that's an E sharp or F. So throw in some notes that aren't in the key. So here is open G tuning and the key of G. And I put in that note which is an E, which is not in the key of G at all. So you can just kind of jump around and experiment, but the idea for this lesson, kind of getting off subject here, is the choking. So, one more thing, first finger. I'm only doing open second string, and then first finger on the second string, second fret and then the third fret. Using my nail over here, by the way. So jump around, experiment, and you'll come across all these licks. You will stumble across them, I guarantee you. And you'll be like, wait, wait, what did I do? And you're gonna go back and try to figure it out. So far, I've only fretted one string at a time, so one more thing I'm gonna show you is fretting two strings at a time with my slide on my third finger. So, first finger is on one, two. Second finger is on two, three. And then I slide up, not using my slide at all. I'm sliding up with my fingers. String one and two only. Jump back and forth between fretting and slide. Check out my lesson from yesterday. Same thing. Hey, that was the Rhiannon thing. Well, sort of. The Rhiannon riff by Fleetwood Mac. So I threw a whole bunch at you there. Take it in bits and pieces and experiment. What I usually tell my students to do is strap on your guitar, mess around while you're watching the lesson, put your fingers where my fingers are, see if you can emulate it, see if you can kind of keep up and make those exact same licks that I'm making, and you'll stumble across your own licks at the same time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one for 20 years. And again, keep those requests coming. I'm getting a whole slew of them almost every day. I appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time.